In this video, we'll be going over how to use the Python package PyTest to implement unit tests using the Azure Dynamics with Python repository, to go over examples using the Python assert statement, approximately equal function, numpy arrays, warnings, errors, and how to use PyTest from the command line by calling it directly or through the Python interpreter. So here in the terminal is how we call PyTest directly with a dash VV flag for very verbose, but we can also call PyTest with a Python 3 dash M flag by saying Python 3 dash M pytest-vv like that. And as a sneak peek to next video, here's one way to utilize the classic Python if name equals main statement to be able to use unit test scripts differently based on if you run the script directly, which is when name is equal to main versus unit test. When name does not equal main, it equals a file name without the .py extension since the script is being imported. So here we'll use the interplanetary trajectory v infinity matcher unit test as an example showing two different gravity assist trajectory plots. So we can run it by saying python3 src python tools unit test test itvim.py where the first plot is going to be a trajectory an earth mars flyby earth trajectory and then the second one is going to be evme so starting from earth we do a flyby of venus go out to mars do another flyby and then come back to earth here. And I'll have a link in the description to the Astro Dynamics with Python repository for anyone who is interested in following along and seeing some Astro Dynamics software. So we'll start out by installing PyTest. And if you've cloned the Astro Dynamics with Python repository, it's included in the requirements.txt file right here. So in that case, you can install it using the pip-r flag. So you can say python 3 m pip install r requirements.txt. And it's going to say requirement already satisfied for PyTest right here. But if you want to just install it by itself, you can say python 3 m pip install PyTest. Once that's done, you can either call PyTest directly if it was installed to your user local bin directory like this. So you can check by going user local bin pi and see what's in there so pytest is in there so you can just call pytest directly like this or you can call it to the python interpreter by saying python 3 dash m pytest so there's a few things we can notice initially from the pytest output to the terminal we see that the root dir that it used is absolute path to where we currently are and we can check that with pwd and see that it's exactly the same and within our current path, PyTest looked for any files that had the keyword test, either at the beginning or end of their file names before their .py extensions. And within those files, looked for any functions that have functions that start with the word test. So we can see that PyTest found all of these scripts that either start or end with test, and the amount of dots next to the script names is how many functions it found within that script. And if we use a dash VV flag, PyTest also shows all the functions within the scripts that it found. So we can see that for the Astrodynamics test script, PyTest only found one test because only one of them actually started with test. And then if we change this to false, we can in fact see that this is the one it found because if we run that again, it's going to come up with an assertion error, which fails. So now that we've gone over how to call PyTest, let's get into the implementations in the Python scripts. And as we've already seen, we can use the assert statement to assert either true or false, but that's obviously not very exciting and not representative of how we can actually usefully utilize PyTest. Here we have the numerical tools implementation and its test scripts. And we start with a test of the norm of a zero vector should be equal to zero. And in this case, we mean the two norm, which is defined as the square root of the sum of each value in the vector squared. So nt.norm is a function that takes in a numpy array or a Python list and returns the two norm, which is a scalar value. Therefore, when we call nt.norm with an input list of 000, we expect the output to be zero. So using this unit test, we can make sure that we correctly call the numpy.linalc.norm function. And for another test here, we have the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared for a right triangle, which is true when the hypotenuse is five and the other two sides are three and four. We can also assert that a function should either raise an error or warning when calling it with a specific input. So for example, say we want to find the unit vector of a vector where the unit vector is defined as a vector that points in the same direction as the input vector, but has a magnitude of one. And we can calculate that unit vector by dividing the input vector by its norm. But of course, divided by zero is undefined. So we should expect an error if the norm of the input vector is equal to zero. 
And in this case, NumPy is going to raise a runtime warning, which we can catch in PyTest by using the PyTest.raises function. But note that in order for PyTest.raises to catch warnings and not just errors, we have to use this command up here using PyTestMark. We can also test NumPy arrays using the NumPy.all function. So the assert statement in Python only accepts booleans. So the NumPy.all function is one way to figure out if all values in an array satisfy some condition. So in this first unit test, since we are propagating a zero inclination orbit, meaning its orbital plane is aligned with the Earth equatorial plane, we assert that all z-axis values of position and velocity vectors should be zero. We can also test that values should be almost equal to a certain value using the pytest.approx function. So for example, we could test that 1.00001 should be almost equal to 1 using this function. And we can also set the absolute and relative tolerances to define what almost equals actually means for us. So feel free to go through the unit test directory in the Astrodynamics with Python repository since there are a lot more tests in there that can serve as good examples to go off off for any unit tests that you may want to implement in your own repositories. And there are also more examples of PyTest unit tests in the Algos repository along with unit tests in C++ using Google tests for those who are interested. And recall that this is just an introduction to unit testing with PyTest. There's a lot more that you can do with this library, so feel free to leave any kind of comments if you're curious to know about more use cases.